Yo, 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 what's up? Dark Weiser here. In this video, I will talk about getting a brand new motorcycle. What are the pros and what are the cons? I will talk about riding without a goal, like riding without a destination in mind. What I really, really hate when riding in traffic. I will present to you another member of Dark Weiser Motor Crew. We will have a little motor quiz, so listen to this sound and try to guess what motorcycle it is. And uh, comment and uh, you will get the answer at the end of the video. And maybe I will talk about something else as well, I don't know, I haven't really planned this video that much. So uh, stay tuned and uh, let's go. Okay, so getting a brand new motorcycle, what are the pros and cons? I'm one of those that actually prefers to get a brand new motorcycle because then I know that I'm the only one that has been riding it and I know about any damages or whatever. Woohoo! And I just, I just prefer to buy things brand new. It's just, that's just who I am. What the hell is this? Okay, that's odd, in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, I prefer to get new stuff, like a new telephone or a new, brand new TV or brand new motorcycle. The used ones, they have, they're good too, but I just prefer to have new stuff. Okay, so what are the pros and cons of getting a new motorcycle? Well, the pros are that you get a brand new motorcycle. It's it's yours, you, you know who's been riding it before you, and you know, it's just brand new. So, I would say that is, that is the, the only pro about it. Like, you know everything about it. And, well, the cons are, so you have to pay for the first service at 10,000 kilometers. And that can be quite expensive, not super expensive, but still expensive, so that's kind of like an instant, instantly cost. And my advice to you is that you can, when you're buying a motorcycle, if you're, buying, if you're buying a new motorcycle, you can do some, what do you call it, haggle, bar, bartering, barter, bar, I don't know, yeah, you know what I mean, I, this word. Because the price for a brand new motorcycle is often fixed or you can't really do much about the price when you're buying it. So, But you can you can probably haggle the, the price down for the first service. Like, uh, I will buy this motorcycle, but can you give me like 50% off the first service or whatever. So that can save you some money. Okay, moving on. Moving along. So yeah, the first service can be expensive and then most riders would like to modify their motorcycles like they want to get another another exhaust like an aftermarket exhaust to get a better sound or change the air filters or the new mirrors or whatever you know so so you kind of end up with some external costs or what you call it additional costs so i would say those two are the probably the biggest pros and cons about getting a brand, brand new motorcycle. Do you know any additional pros and cons about getting a new motorcycle? Why don't you comment and let me know. So getting a new motorcycle will bring the cost down because because it's used. Someone has probably been riding it for a year or so. That will drop the price down like almost 10% or whatever. And then they have already modified it with new exhausts and and um, hopefully they have done the services in time and stuff like that. So. Let's move on to the next subject. Okay, so my next subject is riding without the destination. Now what do I mean by that? Well, if you're planning to do a trip, you look at a map and you'll be like, oh man, that place is like five hours away. It's gonna be so boring on a motorcycle, just... <laughs> it was slippery there, some sand. 
So yeah, you will be like, oh, it's, it's too long to go, that will take too much time. So that kind of, it's kind of off-putting or what you say, or what you call it. At least that's the way it's for me. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta enjoy this little riding part here. It's kind of hard to, whew. it's kind of hard to talk and ride at the same time. Can't really focus. Oh, this was this road was awesome. Ooh. Hopefully it won't end abruptly. So far so good. <laughs> this is fun. La 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 la. the end of the line? Almost. The road kind of gets smaller and smaller. What the hell? There's a house here? Huh. Seriously? freaking nowhere there's a house what the hell that's weird the weird part is someone has been cutting the grass here. So let's take this road. I have to be careful because it's it's kind of wet outside, so the grass will be slippery. <laughs> this is why I love to ride dual sport motorcycles. Just pick a road and see where you end up and then you find these hidden gems <laughs> like a house in the middle of nowhere okay so riding without a destination in mind I'm sorry I'm, I'm jumping back and forth here so my point is you look at a map or you're planning a trip and you'd be like oh it's six hours away it's gonna be so boring to ride there blah 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 and then that would get you not hyped for the trip and then some other day you're just like me right now out riding a full day and you can be gone for six hours and then you don't you know you didn't plan on going for six hours or you didn't plan on going a long long distance trip but then you end up being away for like six hours and then that's no problem you know it's, it's just just fun so it's kind of like a mind thing so if you're going on a long distance trip just think of it as that's like, you're just out riding and don't really care about the distance. That will help with the mind. Sometimes I just like to be out riding without no goal and just exploring roads and see where I end up again. Not, not thinking about time and time and place and stuff like that. Anyways, what do you think about riding long distance trips? Do you like them or do you prefer to take shorter trips? Why don't you comment and let me know. Hopefully you'll hear what I'm saying right now because it's quite windy outside. Outside, well, <laughs> I mean, outside of my helmet. Okay, so what do I really hate about riding in traffic? Well, I'm gonna show you what I really hate. Look at this. People who cut corners with it when they're driving cars or trucks or whatever it's just so 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 fucking stupid like why do people even do that i mean don't they have any type of you know don't knowledge about ah uh, fuck i can't even speak 
What if you what if you cut a corner and then there's a motorcycle there or a big moose or or some children playing that you don't see, you know, then then you will hit them and then they will die. Like this corner right here. Like why would you cut it? You can't see what's on the other side of the corner. I hate when that happens and I see it when I'm out I see it when I'm out riding almost almost every time that I'm out riding I see it. And I've been close to actually hitting someone because they were cutting corners and I always just honks or flashes to them or whatever like what the fuck are you doing? I mean I just I just hate that type of behavior in traffic. I don't know what more to talk about for this video, so I'm gonna end it right here. So Oh shit, I'm gonna turn. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Oh shit, maybe it's I'm going too fast here. Sorry. Okay, like, subscribe, and uh, oh yeah, here's here's the answer to the which motorcycle it was in the video that you heard. Okay. Okay, bye-bye now.